Hi everyone, welcome to K8 MRD Radio Stuff. Today, I have been inspired, well, I've been inspired for a while, um, by Julian OH8STN. Um, he finally released his uh, 500 kabillion watt hour uh, LifePo4 battery video. Um, and I just listened to his 100 watts in a wire podcast, and that's kind of why I'm doing this. Um, kind of. Uh, the main reason I'm doing this is because the biggest, uh, the, the most frequent question I get asked every time I post a video is what battery am I using to run 100 watts portable out in the field? And the answer is... This right here. This is four headway 38120S, the S stands for screw, lithium iron phosphate cells. Uh, they're 3.2 volts um, each. You run them in series, you have a 13.8 roughly volt battery. Um, it is wired together with a BMS, a battery management system. And that keeps uh, all of the cells balanced at the same voltage, so one isn't feeding more than the other or less. Um, and it also provides overcurrent protection and undercurrent protection. Um, I just let this go one day, all frickin' day, to see how many of these 10 amps I could actually get out of this battery. The answer, over 10 amps. Um, I, I got to like 10.1 some odd amp hours out of this battery just with my 891 on uh, standby just all day just doing its thing on one of my days off um, and then at that 10 and a half volts the BMS came in and shut it all off which is still way more um, voltage than so so these cells their low voltage, I believe, is 2.8 volts. Um, so didn't even really come close to uh, getting under current for these things. So um, it weighs maybe three pounds, I'd guess. Um, the first battery I used was this Duracell 8 amp hour battery. Uh, it's an AGM battery, and really an 8 amp hour AGM battery is really only good for 4 hours, and they're not that good on current draw. So the nice thing about these cells, um, these are 10 amp hour cells, each one, and they're rated for a current draw of 10C which means 10 times the amperage capacity. So you can really draw about 100 amp uh, current out of this. Now my BMS, Julian's got a 50 amp BMS. I didn't need that. Um, so I went ahead and got a 30 amp BMS. My radio only draws 18, maybe 20 if it's screaming. Um, so I just didn't see the need. And if, you know, I only have one mouth. I'm not gonna be sitting there <laughs> with two radios calling CQ or something. So. I just didn't need it. Um, but so usually when I'm in the field, not usually always, I have it in this box. Now this is something I picked up at a lo local um, store called Meyer. It's just kind of one of those big Walmart type uh, chains, but it's, it's a Michigan company. So, and it was like $3. I'm like, what the hell am I going to put this thing in? Um, Cause I just wanted to protect one. I don't want to have just loose battery metal <laughs> sitting around. So um, I just wanted to, wanted to find something. I, I originally was looking for like a, a bag or something I could zip it up with, but I just couldn't find one. Um, so I ended up just drilling a hole uh, right here and I run these power poles. I'll, I'll take the power pole off, feed the lead through and then put the, put the connector back on. So it just sticks out ever so, uh, you know, an, an inch or two. Um, so that's how I will take this portable in my bag with my radio and everything so I can carry everything just man portable. Um, but I've also, pretty much ever since I became a ham a few years ago, I also wanted to build a battery box. 
I just thought those were really cool. So um, I have that sealed lead acid battery that kind of just sits here now. Um, I've, I've wired up different things, and I'll, I'll show you here, but like different USB cords and things like, you know, if power goes out, I can charge cell phones and stuff like that. But I, I, wanted, a, I wanted a battery box. They're so cool. So I'm not making one. I'm going to show you that. And I have a solar thing, a solar panel. It's just a cheap Harbor Freight with a, um, a charge controller, but it actually works pretty decent on the on the uh, sealed lead acid if it's sunny. So um, let me show you this battery box. Okay, so here's the box that I made, and this is just like the five dollar Harbor Freight box uh, ammo box. Nothing special about it. Um, <clears throat> Inside, I've got the lithium iron phosphate battery that we just saw. Uh, this is my meter. Let's see how well that shows up. Cool. Uh, I got my voltage here, the current drawing, obviously nothing. Um, I didn't pay attention. This shows the watt hours. I would have rather seen the amp hours, but um, not a big deal. A little bit of math, and you can figure out how much your amp hours are. Um, so. And you can reset that and you can set the uh, high voltage and low voltage so it'll kind of it'll alarm it'll flash if you're under or over but not really a big deal because we've got the bms we've got um two 2.1 amp 5 volt usb plugs and then we have so everything is controlled by this also i, I wanted this to be the main power and then you know be able to do these independently of one another so we can have that on. This draws a little bit of amperage, but not a big deal. They're just a little, little bit of light. Um, so I have these wired up, and I'll show you inside in a minute. It's a hot mess. But so where I have this sun, that's the input to my charge controller, which is not in here right now. I'm actually not really sure where it is because um, I've just not been using it lately uh, since I kind of put the lithium iron phosphate battery in here. But so I've got three power poles. These are outs, you know, just different power supplies. Um, and then this top left one where I've kind of marked with a sun is, would be my power input, whether it's solar uh, or what have you, we got power. So the cool thing with this, that it's, it's modular. Power pole, be, you know, for me and what I need, power poles and USB are all I need. So um, check this out. I had um, I had an extra, um, this is a, a one of these barrel things. This is, this is for 12 volt. This was actually from my old uh, wireless guitar system that I had to get rid of uh, because the FCC decided to sell the 600 megahertz spectrum, which got me a cool upgraded wireless system for my guitar, but we now have power poles on it. So what this gets me, here's my, here's my charging uh, dock for my HD1. So if we're on the go, everything is power pole. So we can plug this in because this is a 12 volt in, we can plug this in. Now I can charge my HD1 if it were here. And we can still hook up solar and have that going. We can charge our uh, phone. We can run our radio off of this. Here, let's uh, disconnect this. Take, kick that out of the power supply. Not a frame here, but I'm hooking up some power poles. So watch as we plug this in now. Oh, now our radio is on. Look at that. So now we're drawing an amp. We can go for 10 hours like this, just with this, uh, just sitting like that on receive. So it's great. Um, so let's look inside this thing. Okay, so here's how I have this just laying in there. I told you it's just a hot mess. Um, but I'll just show you briefly. I mean, it comes out really easy. So here's, um, I have a fuse. This is a, a, a 20 amp fuse right here in line. I only blew one fuse when I was making this thing. Um, definitely a good thing to have. Uh, so this, I kind of spliced some wires together. So 
Uh, one power goes to our, this is our, our power meter there. And then the other one, this one that's not hooked up right now, actually goes to, so this really could be another power, unswitched power if you wanted. So this right here plugs into uh, this, which uh, if I'm running in this configuration, uh, this would just be an unswitched, you know, just a constantly on uh, either input or output if I want to plug something into it. Um, when I have the, the charge controller, this actually goes into the solar panel connector to the charge controller, uh, but we don't have that hooked up right now. And again, no clue where it is. So um, it's pretty easy to wire. I One of these days, I'm going to tidy this up a little bit better, but, um, you know, <laughs> I just kind of don't care what it looks like on the inside, but it works. Okay, so easily uh, we can switch out. So if I want to go portable with this, if I still want to have a backup battery, uh, we can then take our <clears throat> so this is why I have these I had to make these little bastard adapters because our AGM uses those so we can just easily swap out for this battery Super, super duper quick. And now, you hear the radio turning on and off. So now we're back in business with uh, our AGM battery. You can hear the radio clicking back on. I just left everything powered on, so that's on now. So, um, yeah, it's it's a good thing to have. Um, a couple different batteries. Um, at some point. I do see myself getting uh, probably just another four of these so I can have a 20 amp battery. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see as my, needs, uh, as my needs go on. I almost forgot the coolest part. So I had these uh, 12 volt LEDs and I just, <laughs> I stuck them in the wire and power pulled them, of course. And now if the power goes out, I'm a flashlight geek and I've got like 800 million flashlights, but who's got this? Who's got a freaking, um, what is this? A G4 LED? Look at that. We've got, this is, this is really more of like a spotlight, but you know, if you want to light up your room, you plug these bad boys in. This is drawing 0.54 amps. Um, 6.7 watts this guy draws less this one actually fills up the room more because it's the LEDs are all around uh, 1.8 watts 0.14 amps this thing draws this thing fills the room so uh, just another geeky thing to have with your uh, uh, your box there so <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching and uh, please if you haven't already hit the subscribe button uh, hit the bell down there. You'll be notified when I uh, make any new videos. If you haven't already, uh, go check out Julian's channel, OH8STN Survival Tech Nord. I've been watching his channel for a while now. Um, you can see how to actually build those things. He goes he goes uh, in a lot of depth. I just want to show you guys what the heck I'm using because literally every video I do, I get several comments about it, um, and I figured it was high time to do it. But hopefully, uh, you know, Julian has inspired me. Hopefully. Uh, I can do my part and inspire you guys to get out there, get portable, uh, make some kind of uh, portable power solution. If your power goes out, you've got nothing. So um, it's nice to have. I've got a little inverter and, and a couple other things that I didn't show you, but you know, you make it your own, but have fun. It's a great project. Um, and the best thing about building it is you know what's in it. You know, if you buy these other batteries, and I'm sure they're great, uh, and I'd love to have them myself, you know, the other lithium iron phosphate batteries that are out there. But, uh, you know, building it yourself just is, is kind of like the Hamley thing to do, I feel. So, um, anyway, all right, guys, I'm rambling enough. Thanks so much for watching. 7-3, KDMRD Radio. Stuff.